Greeting ham radio enthusiast. Welcome to another chapter of N7RBP's informative videos. Today we're going to talk about a uh, program called Whisper, uh, an HF program that uh, uh, is designed for weak signal propagation, uh, antenna testing, typically QRP with five watts or less. And uh, we're going to show you how this works with uh, my Carolina Wyndham antenna and uh, 5 watts out of my HF radio. Typically what Whisper does is transmit for a relatively long period of time compared to FT8 or some of the other digital modes. Uh, it uh, transmits for just about a minute uh, and uh, then it receives for just about a minute. But it's a very narrow, narrow, narrow uh, bandwidth, and uh, it will decode uh, signals below the f noise floor by about minus 40 decibels below the noise floor. So it's, uh, it's very sensitive to uh, uh, weak signals, and it's very interesting to see uh, what QRP five watts or less will do worldwide, uh, and it just it's a good it's a good way to check your antenna if you're experimenting with antennas and and uh, different designs. Uh, just hook it up and and uh, you can you can have it uh, hop bands. It's called band hopping, and and uh, you can set it up to uh, transmit on twenty meters. And then next time it transmits, it'll transmit on 30 meters. And then next time it transmits, it'll transmit on 40 meters. And then next time on 80 meters. And then it'll complete, uh, it'll, it'll redo the cycle. And uh, pretty, uh, pretty slick. It, it uh, is just another uh, uh, facet of WSJTX which is your typical, everybody Everybody nowadays has WSJTX software running FT8. Uh, they used to use it for JT65 and sometimes uh, still do, and uh, a number of other JT9 other modes. But uh, a lot of people don't re even realize that uh, Whisper is one of the modes that you can run in uh, uh, WSJTX. So we're, gonna, we're just going to take a little stroll uh, through the uh, WSJTX software, show you how it works, and uh, show you the website that uh, it uh, is received on via PSK Reporter. Uh, if you use FT8, you're familiar with PSK Reporter, and this uh, just goes through the same channels as PSK Reporter, only it reports to a different website, a different uh, URL, which is the Whisper website. And everybody who's running Whisper uh, is uh, doing the same thing. They're reporting via uh, PSK Reporter to this website. And uh, uh, when they hear your signal, they report it to the uh, website. Pretty cool. So let's, uh, let's take a look at how this works. All right. So here we are on uh, WSJT-X. And if you go into the uh, mode menu, and you see right down here, Whisper, WSPR. This is the mode we're, we're going to be in. And this is a totally different mode from FT8 or uh, JT65 or JT9. So when you select the mode, Whisper, then you can... Uh, do one of two things. You can come down here to TX Next, unclick band hopping, and uh, just click TX Next, and you can tune your frequency to uh, whatever you want right now. Here's the, uh, the preset frequencies for Whisper. 20 meters is 14095. 40 meters is 7.038 and uh, so on and so forth. They're all, they're all preset per band. Uh, 
And you can also, if you click Band Hopping right here, and uh, you go into Schedule, and that's what's come up here. And uh, you can tell it which bands you want it to work on. Uh, you can tell it to work on 40 meters, 30 meters, 20 meters. That's what I have right now. As a matter of fact, I think uh, since it's uh, uh, a little afternoon and it's daylight, I'm going to also include 17 meters. So I'm going to click a check there, a check there, and a check there, which is day, sunset gray line, and night. And uh, that way, it is going to first go to 40 meters, and it's going to transmit. Then it's going to go to 30 meters, it's going to transmit. Then 20 meters, then 17 meters, and transmit. So, another thing that we have here, right at the 1500 mark, there's a green line. I don't know how well you can see that there, but there's a green line from here to here, and that's the transmit zone and the receive zone. There's a little red dot here, which is where uh, your transmit signal is going to be transmitted. And uh, let's see, we are on 20, 20 meters right now, and right now it is not showing any. Uh, it's not receiving any signals on 20 meters at this point in time on 14096. Uh, however, you go down to uh, the receive window and this shows everything that's been happening so far. And uh, there's quite a bit, uh, quite a bit been going on here. Uh, just recently, uh, it shows that it's been receiving 20 meters, 20 meters, 20 meters. I didn't have it hopping, but uh, uh, just prior to that, it was uh, transmitting uh, on 40 meters, and then it received uh, a signal from KM6ORN, KD7DB, KJ6QAV, and uh, KF7VLT, uh, all on 40 meters. So, and then the, the same way up here, again, it showed transmitting on uh, 40 meters, and uh, then the receipts, the receptions that we had. And uh, down here is the progress bar for receiving, and I will cut this out a number of times through the video because it is a rather long uh, transmit and receive cycle. So we'll, we'll cut it out here and then when it starts again uh, to transmit we will uh, uh, pick up from there. Okay, it looked like I'd been taken off frequency there a little bit. That's what was going on. So anyhow, as you see here now, it's receiving. It's about halfway through the cycle and it's receiving a couple of 20 meter signals. Uh, in the green bar right here and uh, it looks like they're relatively strong one stronger than the other but uh, note how narrow the whisper band is compared to uh, JT65 or even FT8 on the waterfall extremely narrow and uh, so as we're receiving once it gets close to the end over here you'll go through a decode process and uh, it'll show in blue right here uh, the fact that it's decoding and then it'll show on here on the screen uh, uh, what it has just received. There we go, decode it says and here you go, it just received two signals Alpha Alpha 7 Foxtrot Victor and Alpha Echo 7 Yankee Quebec uh, and they were minus 9 and minus 13 below the noise floor. So, so uh, notice now that it has automatically switched from 20 meters to 30 meters. We're now on 10.138.7 and it's listening right now on, uh, on 30 meters. And as you can see there's, uh, there's a couple of signals there but they're rather weak right now on 30 meters. But uh, uh, we'll, we'll see them here in just a few seconds. 
uh, as they have been received. And we're coming right along. We're getting up to the last two thirds of the uh, of the receive cycle. And any second now, we'll see a decode message pop up in blue. There it goes, right there, decode. And it shows uh, frequency 10.140, 0166, and 0257. Uh, Alpha Alpha 7 Victor or Frank Victor and Kilo India 7 DX. One was minus 15 and one was minus 28 on the below the noise floor. So now you can see that uh, it has flipped over, flipped the radio back to uh, 20 meters at 14095, and it's receiving on 20 meters again. So in order to transmit you need to enable the TX. It says enable TX right here. You need to highlight that and uh, uh, right now it's receiving on uh, 20 meters. Looks like there's a a faint one coming in there on 20 meters right now. And uh, as soon as it's done receiving it will switch over to another band or transmit two-thirds of the way through it's going to decode any second decoding blue and it says on 14097 it received one signal Kilo Baker 4 Romeo Golf and now it says it's transmitting whisper you can see down here in the left hand corner it's yellow and it says transmitting N7 RBP with my grid square and it's starting right here and uh, it'll go through the entire cycle and uh, we're currently at our lowest power level of 5 watts okay so now we're back it's finishing up the transmission on uh, 40 meters and uh, it shows Well, let's see we're still on 40 meters anyhow we're receiving we just that's right we just we just finished up transmitting on 40 meters and uh, so now it's in the receive mode and uh, we're going to receive on that same band and you can see here there's two nice signals on 40 meters being transmitted on whisper right now and uh, we'll see what those are here we'll be right back okay we're just finishing up on a reception on uh, 40 meters here I don't see a real good signal coming in on that last cycle we'll see it's decoding now and we did get one it's a very faint one I can see it there but uh, it's minus 18 degrees below the noise floor it was uh, Kilo Foxtrot 7 Victor Lima Tango now we have switched over to 18.104 on 17 meters doing the band hopping so when you're ready to uh, take a look at what your antenna and radio have done on 5 watts QRP you go to the webpage whispernet.org that's w-s-p-r-n-e-t dot org w-s-p-r-n-e-t dot org and that'll bring up this map and you'll have to log on and uh, once you're logged on then uh, you'll have to create an account for yourself but uh, that's no big deal so this is what you'll see uh, you'll have a spot here where you can select any or all bands uh, you have to put your call sign in so that it knows who it's looking for uh, latitude and longitude uh, we just uh, uh, let it go default uh, default for the zoom 
and uh, time period you can uh, choose from uh, 24 hours to uh, 10 minutes uh, to see what the uh, 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 what it sees in those time ranges right now I have it set to 24 hours and uh, basically <laughs> for 5 watts that's really not bad worldwide I've gotten down into Antarctica uh, a lot of uh, Asia lots of uh, Australia and New Zealand, uh, South America, uh, Europe, uh, North Africa, so not too bad. And you can make this full screen and you can move it around uh, and then that way you can take screenshots of it and then if you want to zoom in you can uh, you can zoom in with the uh, plus and minus sign right over here and uh, you know, it's, it's just amazing what 5 watts and a wire uh, can actually do. Uh, zooming in even further, the different colored lines are the different bands. Here's the legend over on the right side. And uh, uh, yellow, for instance, is uh, or orange, I guess, is 20 meters. And uh, green is 30 meters, etc., etc. It's got all, all the, uh, the code there. You know, I just popped myself out of there. Let's go back in here. And you can see how, how, many, how many people have heard my 5 watts. This is uh, basically the continental United States. And uh, <laughs> it's just amazing. Just absolutely amazing. So that's WhisperNet. And then if you want to update it, you just hit the update. Uh, it doesn't update automatically, but there's an update button right here. And uh, you just click update, and it will. It says waiting for reply from WhisperNet, and there it goes. And now you have the newest of everybody that has heard you. And there's quite a bit. So there you go, guys and gals. That's uh, Whisper in a nutshell. Uh, great for testing your antenna, uh, testing your radio, combination thereof, and uh, low power. It gives you an excellent idea of what the propagation is like and, and how your antenna is performing. There you go. 73s. Have a good day, and we will see you on the next video. This is N7RBP. We're QRT.